सो वेलकम टू सैन अकाडमी पल्ली करना दिस क्लास सेवन मैथमेटिक्स इन चैप्टर फोर सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ ट्रायंगल इट्स अ पार्ट वन ओके दिस इज ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी ट्रायंगल इन इक्वालिटी थियोरम सो दिस इज अ ट्रायंगल द सम ऑफ द लेंथ ऑफ एनी टू साइड ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज ग्रेटर दैन दी लेंथ ऑफ थर्ड साइड वॉट इज दैट मीन्स द सम ऑफ एनी टू ट्रायंगल एनी टू साइड्स ऑफ अ ट्रायंगल इज अ ट्रायंगल सो ए इज अ वन साइड ए साइड बी साइड एंड सी साइड थ्री साइड्स आर देर ओके इफ यू आर एडिंग एनी टू एनी टू साइड्स इफ यू आर एडिंग एनी टू साइड्स इट इज ग्रेटर दैन द थर्ड साइड फॉर एक्साम्पल ए प्लस बी इफ यू आर एडिंग ए प्लस बी इट इज ग्रेटर दैन सी it is greater than c if you are adding a plus c it is greater than b if you are adding b plus c that is greater than a so this is the triangle inequality theorem again one more time repeating the sum of any two sides of a triangle is a greater than the third side next this one uh, simple example sum of two sides so sum of two sides so we have to consider the one side is a 3 and other side is a 4 So three plus four is a seven. Seven is greater than five. Seven is greater than five. This is sum of two sides. This is the third side. So three plus seven, three plus four is a seven. Seven greater than five. So four plus five is a nine. Nine greater than three. Three plus five is a eight. Eight greater than four. This is the inequality theorem. So using this theorem, we are going to see two examples. So example. 3.4 cm 2.1 cm 5.3 cm they are given three values of a triangle so one is a, suppose we are going to add any two sides first 3.4 cm plus 2.1 cm if you are adding these two numbers it should be greater it should be greater next 2.1 plus 5.3 it is greater than 3.4 Three point four plus five point three is greater than two point one. Thus, the sum of any two of these numbers is greater than the third side. Hence, it is possible to draw a triangle. If it is, uh, if suppose, if the left hand side is lesser than the right hand side, means that should be the that is not able to, that is not possible to draw the triangle. Hence, it is possible to draw a triangle whose sides are three point four centimeter, two point one centimeter, and five point three centimeter. And the fourth question. Six centimeter, seven centimeter, and fourteen centimeter. Clearly, we have six plus seven. Six plus seven is a thirteen. So, but fourteen is a greater. But already we know that, as we already know that, what is that means? If any two sides, any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. But here, if you are adding these two, six plus seven is a thirteen. But thirteen is the lesser than fourteen. Thirteen is lesser than fourteen. So, it is not possible. It is not possible to draw a triangle. it should be it should be the it should be greater so if if we are adding two sides of a triangle it should be greater than the third side so here it is not possible to draw a triangle so this is the triangle inequality theorem and the next one is pythagoras theorem pythagoras or pythagoras so pythagoras theorem in pythagoras theorem so this is the height base and hypotenuse Height, base, and hypotenuse. In Pythagoras theorem, it should be a right angle. Pythagoras theorem, it should be a right angle. In a right angle triangle, if the three sides are A, B, C, if the three sides are A, B, C, so we should say that A square plus B square equal to C square. We should be square. So A square plus B square equal to C square. This is what Pythagoras theorem, and the square of the hypotenuse the square of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is equal in the equal in the sum of the square on the other two side equal in the sum of the square on the other two side again i am repeating the sum of the hypotenuse of the right angle this is the hypotenuse so sum of the hypotenuse of the right angle sorry the square of the hypotenuse on the right angle triangle is equal is equal to the is equal to the sum of the square on the other side of the two side on the other two sides so this is what a square plus b square equal to c square a square plus b square this is the pythagoras theorem a square plus b square equal to c square so using this pythagoras theorem let us see one example find the length of the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle the other two sides of which measure 9 cm and 12 cm so they are given other two measurements so height and base they are given that is a 9 cm and 12 cm so 
always the uh, Pythagoras theorem is the right angle triangle that is 90 degree okay we have to find out the hypotenuse we have to find out the hypotenuse okay so okay let triangle ABC be the right angle at B let triangle ABC be right angle at B let A B equal to 12 centimeter it is it is given in the question and B C equal to 19 centimeter it is also given in the question we have to find the hypotenuse hypotenuse A Z equal to question mark then the Pythagoras as we already know that Pythagoras theorem is a A C square equal to A B square plus B C square we have to find out only the A C square that is hypotenuse position and A C square equal to A B square that is a given question in A B is a 12 centimeter so 12 square plus B Z is a 9 so 9 square so 12 square means 12 into 12 is a 144 plus 9 square means 81 so 144 plus 81 is a 225 sending power from LHS to the RHS it becomes square root so here it is we have to find out only A C value but in that hypotenuse theorem that is A C square so the square should go to the right hand side that is root of 225 if you are taking root of 225 the answer will become ac equal to 15 centimeter the length of the hypotenuse of a triangle is equal to 15 centimeter this is what hypotenuse theorem so again i'm telling the hypotenuse theorem is that the square on the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle is equal in the sum of the square on the other two sides sum of the square on the other two sides this is what pythagoras theorem x a square plus b square equal to c square i hope everybody understand the concept of the triangle inequality and pythagoras theorem thank you children